I feel like I wear all kinds of colors. Detox is a colorful queen. So anything fluorescent and crazy is always very me. I feel like a big pink dream. Hot pink and the original pride flag represented sex. So what better person to represent hot pink and sex than myself? <laughs> One of the main reasons why sex was important in the original flag was it was right at the beginning of the free love movement and, and liberation of one's body and sex and freedom, which is, you know, very indicative of what queer culture is, is being completely free with your body and, and your energy and your mind. And, and what better way than to be free with, with sex? <laughs> Let's all get free together. Everyone get naked. She's living. You given life, mama. Okay, so I went to my closet and I realized, oh, there's actually a lot of red in here. And I actually have a lot of red clothes. I didn't realize that until I went downstairs and I was like, oh my God, look at all this. I have my, my, color, my closet is color coordinated. This may shock you. I kind of accidentally became like a red queen. Like a queen who's always rocking a, a crimson. You know what I mean? A nice crimson queen. Red represents life. The word life itself has a very interesting history in the queer vernacular. In terms of, oh my, Miss Thing, you are giving me life. Also, just the fact that we have lives that we are able to live because of moments like the Stonewall Riots. my typical color, but I kind of like it. So today I'm orange and that represents healing. I still got to integrate some of myself into this look, which I love. Who doesn't like a whole body full of latex? I know personally for me, I've definitely healed from certain past situations I've been through, but that always makes you a stronger person. You're more self-aware, you know what things to stay away from, and things that you went through, once you get over them, then that's when you get to be who you really are. All those things that happened to me in my past have made me the person that I am today, and the performer that I am today. So I'm actually grateful for all of the, the hardships and moments that were kind of rocky in my past, because I'm stronger for it, so. It's a positive thing. Sunshine is kind of an oxymoron because I'm very shady. <laughs> Yellow represents sunshine, and it's a part of the original pride flag. Sunshine is such an important part of pride because I believe that sunshine is about love and life. You know, I don't remember ever wearing the color yellow, but I kind of think that it suits me. I always find that even in the darkest moments, I just try to be a ball of light and a ball of energy for everybody around me because I believe that being happy and being honest is being human. And that's, that's really what pride is for me. It's just being honest to yourself and bringing that light into somebody else's life, even if you don't have it all the time. So yeah.
we're in green today. Verde que te quiero verde. I used to think green did not look good on me and I would never wear it. But now I feel more connected to it. It oozes a sense of freedom, of breeze, and it's just, you know, whimsical and like still strong and striking. I've come to love the color green, honestly. It really represents nature and the pride flag. For me, it represents hope. It represents blooming. It represents spring, you know? And for us Caribbean girls, you know, it just soothes us. It just brings joy. And it's so appropriate that I'm April, you know, because I'm always blooming, always full of life, always hoping for a better, you know, environment, a happier place for everybody. I've had like a lifelong battle with the color blue because my parents put me in blue a lot to be like boy color. Well, I don't know if that's what they were doing, but that's what it felt like. Today in this turquoise, I actually feel kind of fabulous. Turquoise was designed to represent magic or art. I think it's the only one that has slash in the middle of it. Magic slash art, which I love because like the transformative power of art has been seen as having magical powers for society. The way that people imagine what could be beyond what you can see with your eyes or what you can recognize as being familiar to suggest the idea of a better future and that gives a community something to rally for and to fight for. So Art and the queer imagination is integral to Bride, and we wouldn't have the progress we have today without it. I have Indigo, which stands for Serenity in the original Pride flag. The color choice itself is just something a little different than what most people would associate with peppermint. Indigo originates in India, and that really reminds me of the deep spirituality and culture that trans folk in India have. They've been very present and visible for years in India, even though they haven't always been viewed as equal. So. I wanted to kind of really put a spotlight on Indian culture. I had the opportunity to visit there recently and speak with some folks in the trans and gender non-conforming community who told me about the history, the very rich history and all the contributions that trans folk have made to the culture in India for centuries. It's very humbling and so I really wanted to pay homage to that. may not be my color, but lavender is. I remember when I was a kid, I was probably like six. Purple was my favorite color. But I had recently heard that purple was a gay color and only gay people liked purple. And so I didn't want to be labeled gay, and so I said my favorite color was orange, which is a healing color, and I think I was healing myself at that point. Now I'm super proud, I'm super queer, and I'm super spirited. Pride started as a protest, as we all have been saying recently, and it's a conversation that needs to keep going. All of the queer voices in our community are not being heard, and I think it is our job of people of privilege within the queer community, as us drag race queens are, to really just make noise, be a voice for the voiceless.
Hey beauties, it's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Do you want all the hot Drag Race tea? Then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel, and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.